All right, welcome to the Joe Wants to Drive the Spanish Car Power Hour, uh, where we start with a completely unrelated crossover event, where this is a car that I aim to unlock this episode, but I haven't unlocked it yet, so I'm going to have to jump in my... Uh... Oh, I'm four miles shy of being able to drive the Hyundai in a different paint scheme from this one. Uh, but I'm only doing two goes around this track, and it's not quite long enough. If they could have added an extra quarter of a mile, that's literally a drag strip. You know, you can cover a quarter mile in ten seconds from a standing start. If they could have just added an extra quarter mile onto this track, then I'd unlock a new paint. <sighs> it's a cold, difficult world. But it's one that I'm going to have to power through. Speaking of uh, Spanish cars, recently in a finance lesson, which, you know, I literally don't do any work in. Um, you know, I'm not trying to sound like a hard man, that's just like uh, a preface for this story that I'm going to tell. Um, me and Zach sit at the back, hey that rhymed, uh, in a finance, in finance, on the computers, just looking at stuff. Um, and he was on... You know, he's looking at buying a car, and I called him a cuck, because I ride a bike. That makes me cooler than him. Uh, but he was looking at a Seat Ibiza, so I stopped calling him a cuck, because I like Seat Ibiza's a lot, because of Mobile One Rally Championship. And also the fact that I just like Seats for some reason. And I was like, hell yeah, my dude, you should get that Seat. And he was like, eh, yeah, I should, it's pretty cheap. And it's suspiciously cheap. So, you know, maybe I... Maybe I should have, although he'll probably figure out that on his own, that it's like suspiciously cheap and you shouldn't trust that kind of stuff. But anyway, the insurance on it, on a Seat, isn't ridiculous. So like, you know, it could well be a possibility, so I could have a, I could have a friend rolling in a Seat, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be rolling in a Seat within the next like 10 minutes, I swear it. You just wait. I mean, it's not going to be an Ibiza, it's going to be a Cordoba. The Cordoba, like, reminds me of the the uh, gondola uh, meme, which no one will, no normie will ever understand what it means to be a gondola. But I, I understand. I'm, I'm there. Hey, he's driving the Skoda. Which means I should be able to easily beat him. Not just because of the novice difficulty, but because the Skoda is fucking shit. Hmm. Actually, speaking of Skoda, maybe I should drive the Skoda in a, one of the Evolution WRC games where I can't decide which one I want to drive. Because the Skoda is like a totally outside, you know, it's an outsider choice. Not that Skoda, obviously. Uh, I've All the games... Uh, before they replaced um, that Skoda with the hatchback one. The Octavia, I think, I'm driving against now. Uh, I already have plans to either drive the Mitsubishi or the Peugeot or, or something. Still not quite figured that out, but I know that I know the Skoda isn't one of the options. But maybe I should drive that in the 2005 game, maybe the 2004 one. It's definitely a possibility. I'll consider it, definitely. Although I have plenty of time to consider plenty of stuff because I've got loads and loads of games planned before I get around to playing Rally Evolved. So, you know. Anyway, I could just play um, Sebastian Loeb Rally Evo at some point, which has like every car used for rallying ever in it. You know, the physics, I don't know about, and the graphics, I'm a little bit in it. But it's got, a, it's got a good car list, and I mean, you know, this game, the physics aren't the best, but they're solid. I don't really mind about realism as long as the physics model is solid, you know? Like, not solid as in, like, stupid stiff and the car suspension doesn't work. But solid as in, like, you know, I understand how each car is going to work when I start driving it. That kind of solid. Right, done with the crossing over. 
Rallying time. Uh, I'm gonna grab... I'm gonna grab the Skoda that I'm never gonna drive again. Uh, and use it to unlock the Sayet that I'm gonna drive lots and lots. This is what we in the business call cuckoldry. Also, this doesn't... these preview shots here don't look a lot like the Monte Carlo Rally. I mean, I know the Evolution games... You know, the road didn't have any snow on it, but at least it was... There were snowy mountains and stuff in the background. With this, I don't know what's going on. Let's have a bit of an explore, shall we? These look like palm trees. I don't know a lot about Monte Carlo, to be honest. I've seen the Madagascar movie, where they go to Monte Carlo. Uh, and I've seen... You know, the Formula One track. And I've seen the Monte Carlo rally, and that's about it. Oh, hang on. Once I go around this hep in here, you'll get a good view. There's there's Monaco, the city. Oh, wait. I can't remember if Monaco is the name of the sort of. Uh, it's a principality, isn't it? Yeah, I can't remember if Monaco is the name of the city and Monte Carlo is the name of the principality, uh, or if Monte Carlo is the name of the city and Monaco is the name of the principality, or if it's all called Monaco. Or if it's all called Monte Carlo. I really don't know. You know, it's this kind of thing that leaves me very, very stumped. And it will be easy to look up, but I'm busy playing video games right now. And by the time I'm done playing video games, I will have forgotten all of the questions that I have. You know, I'd, I'd be perfect for a... You know, getting... The, if the government wanted to cover up something, I'd be a perfect candidate for them being able to easily convince, you know? I'm not very clever, Easy is what I'm saying. Which isn't a good thing, but, you know, I'm happy, and that's what matters, most of the time. Oh, tunnel. I can't hear anything that's happening in this game as I play it. I explain this a lot of the time. Another tunnel. Um, so I'm going to have to listen to going through the tunnel. Uh, oh, shit! I thought we were going straight on for a little bit longer. Oof. I'm glad that had literally no negative consequences on the performance of the car. And the end of the stage is right here, and I don't have to worry about service stations and stuff. The car will just be completely reset for the next stage. Uh, ouch, my back. Oh yeah, this is only a two-stage rally, isn't it? Oh, but I'm not going to be able to fit anything else in the episode, am I? Because everything else... You know, the next event to do is also a rally. And that's definitely going to be like three stages or something. Although, as we've seen, with the crossover that I did with the Evo... Uh, Evo 7. Oh, no, it was an Evo 8, wasn't it? Whatever, the, the one that wasn't the Evo 6. Um... One of the ones that came after the Evo 6, anyway. I could probably do, like, one stage, and then, like, end the episode, and then do the other two stages at the start of the next episode. That'll be fine. I'm okay with doing that. Well, the scenery in this game might not match up with the Monte Carlo rally that I'm used to. But it's still pretty nice, you know? There was a big ocean liner back there. Um... I probably shouldn't be talking about scenery too much while I'm going through tunnels. But, well, you know. Is this just the same stage backwards? I'm getting the feeling, that the sinking feeling, which is a funny joke because I've, I've just been looking at an ocean liner. Um, but I'm getting the sinking feeling that this might just be the same stage that I've already done, but backwards. So I'm recognizing literally all of this. Oh, uh -oh. Yeah, especially that corner. Because going through that the other way, it sent me into a wall. And I broke the other side of the bumper to what I've got broken now. Oh, man. Oh, well. I guess I didn't have, didn't get to have too much of an explore of Monte Carlo, but... Or Monaco. Whichever one it's called. Oh, Jesus Christ. I already made a hash of that. Let's see if I can get around this next corner, right? Yeah, there we go, much better. 
Okay, now I'm not recognizing. I didn't quite recognize those uh, hairpins. So who knows where I am? Basically, what I'm trying to say is I'm lost in a weird country where I don't speak the language. And my car doesn't have any number plates on it. So I'll probably get arrested. And then things will get really. Things will just get progressively worse. Yeah, I think I want a different piece of road. Okay. So it's like, um. It's like the majority of rally games, where they'll just reuse the same bit of road, but then when a junction comes up, you go a different direction. Which I'm fine with, I think that's pretty cool. You know, I was talking shit about Dirt Rally a little while ago for having its shorter stage stages just be sections of longer stage. But, you know, at least this game has like some different corners and stuff to go around. So that's the end of this rally. Yeah, I could probably... After I pick up my new Sayat... Bouncing off walls. After I... Yeah, what a way to end my run, yeah. Scraping up the side of someone's house. So I've collected my Sayat now. Uh, so I'll do... I could do a stage with the Sayat... In this next rally here. Well, actually... I might be able, I'm not going to be able to complete the whole thing. But we're still... We're, st we're sticking to, um... 200... Just shy of 250 miles. Jesus, I think you'd have to go the entire game using only one car in literally every event to do that. Or just get really obsessed with the game, I guess. Hey, it's almost a trek. Um, yeah, I'll do. I'll just do one stage, and then I'll finish this rally in the next episode. How much have I recorded today? Uh... This is the fourth part I've recorded today, so I need to do two more. Ah, I've got time. I've got plenty of time. I've got time to spare. I've got time to kill. Hell yeah. Say at Cordoba, though. This is actually a pretty neato burrito car. I don't know why I keep saying neato burrito. Let me stop. This is a pretty fucking de bomb car. It's fresh, you know? It's fly. I dig it. Um, hopefully it's as... Since I had to unlock it, hopefully it's as good uh, performance-wise as the other cars I've been driving so far. But also, it has... It just looks cool, man. It's got a cool... It's got a cool look. It's got a cool body kit and stuff. Dude. It's nicer... than what I've driven so far. I mean, I like the, I like the Hyundai a lot, but I think I'm... In terms of, like, rallying and stuff, I'm gonna have to start switching to this Hyundai. Oops. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna have to switch from the Hyundai to the Seat. Until I unlock something that I like even more. But I think the only other rally car I've got to unlock that I really, really like would be the 206. But I don't know. I'll see what else there is. There's guaranteed to be a Subaru in there somewhere. I can't really remember the full car list, to be honest. Actually, I think they, I think for this game they took out a lot of stuff from Ready for Change 1. I don't think there's as many sort of 90s cars, you know? I, I, I'm, I'm missing my uh, Escort Cosworth. I wonder where that is, if it's even in here at all. I don't know. That, that's, that's worth looking into, definitely. I'll, I'll have a look through the... Uh, uh, I'll have a look through the locked cars of the next uh, Rallycross event, and see what I can come up with. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Well that's the first time that something really bad has happened to me. That I've had to use a reset button. But at least the car isn't damaged literally at all from it. So that's right. I had to swing it out sideways to check the site. Alright now I'm all over the road. So maybe it did damage the car a little bit. Or maybe I'm just running on slick tires for the tarmac stage, and now the surface has changed. I'm having a little bit of trouble. Luckily, the finish line is right around the next corner. Oh, uh-oh! I said corner. It's around the corner, not down the cliff. Ah, it switched me to a wreck camera. But it switched back. So that's fine. Right, next week I'm going to do the second stage of this rally. 
Um, so yeah, gonna do the next stage of this rally next week. All right, good. <laughs>